what's good crazy emulation we back at it with another emulation video here we go again with part two of fight night champion running on steam deck on the xena emulator this is the latest build which is november 5th and it fixes the audio and i have not crashed since the gameplay also fixes the textures with a custom config file if you would like me to upload the config file, just let me know. This works for Steam Deck and your regular PCs as well. The game actually runs flawless. I think I even prefer it over the RPCS 3 if you play it on the Steam Deck. If you play it on your PC, you can go either or. But for some reason, in my opinion, I think the Xenia Emblayer is starting to have a little more edge on performance. That's just me at the moment. I will have to test some more of this game on RPCS 3. But I do hope you enjoyed the second part of this. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll hide you in a little bit. on a straight plane where you don't leave anything open. You punch down and somebody comes up with a punch. Next thing you know, you're picking yourself up off the campus. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Mike Tyson's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Mike Tyson. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Halfway through this round, well-targeted two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Tyson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Nice. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Tyson's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy, the effectiveness with that combination? <laughs> Ali with a right hand. Sends that right to the head. Tyson's proving to be elusive. And that had some fight to it, that right hand by Mike Tyson. Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Solid straight right hand. Pulls the trigger fast. Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion ever, claiming all three belts, unifying the title, then of course making a ragdoll out of Michael Stick. How important is that to his legacy? Everything. I mean, he came up with the man, with his mentor, Customato, who had the prior youngest heavyweight champ of all time. That was Floyd Patterson. He wanted to break that record. He planned on, he lived to break that record. Solid left hand to the head. Solid right by Muhammad Ali. Little volume punching to the body there. There's a straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good right hand by Mike Tyson. Basic but beautiful. Jab left hand. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. A little 
something for his opponent after getting tagged. Protecting his head well with his guard. Last 10 seconds. Muhammad Ali able to land a big uppercut. End of the round here. As we're ringside at our fight night venue. Of course, we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew. we got to give credit to the crew there. Robbie and Rick back in the production truck doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to do the fun part while they're doing the grunt work. They're doing all the difficult things back there. Of course, Mike, Brian, all those guys. We appreciate you very much, and um, we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. Come on, Good job with another left hand. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. <laughs> Halfway through this round here. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson's rocked by a huge hook to the head. And a smart counterpunch by Mike Tyson. Tyson's doing a beautiful job here early on of counterpunching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counterpunching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative. And then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. Ali's left landing well. That is a strong uppercut there. Muhammad Ali is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. And that's the end of round three. Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecards. Ali's up two rounds to one. Teddy hasn't necessarily distinguished himself in any one area other than he's been a little more active. Yeah, he has been more active. The only thing that I worry about as a trainer, I would be concerned he has to work harder than the other guy to get things done. Does that hurt him down the road? That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Mike Tyson. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Ali scores with a booming uppercut. Teddy, I think the fans sometimes don't appreciate it, but what he's doing right now on the outside is very smart. Well, this is a sweet science, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's understanding where he needs to be, and he's controlling that dimension. Overhand right can be so effective. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He got hit, but he sends it right back. All offense by Muhammad Ali. Carries the punch, puts one in there. Let's move! And just grabbing on to his opponent. He comes with the straight right hand. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Big left hand from Ali. Muhammad Ali is so comfortable on the outside. Work in the body. Little head knocking with that right hand. Nice work with the jab by Mike Tyson. Very accurate with the overhand right. And round four comes to an end. Tyson's approach to these remaining rounds is going to be critical. I believe, I think you do, that he's trailing on the scorecards. But I also... Wow! That is it. Gone. See ya. You are done. Out of here. Fight over. One punch over.
Well, I hope y'all enjoy me getting sucker punch in the back of my head. But all jokes aside, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like, subscribe, and as always, leave me requests, and I'll hide y'all the next video. Can a guy punch? Can a guy?